Hey YouTube, how's it going? Powin here from the channel for winning. So if you've installed a short shifter adapter in your 10th gen Honda Civic like I have, you may have noticed that there's a small clicking sound that occurs when you shift in the even gears and even in reverse. Now, after investigating this issue with the QD instruments, we found that the source of the sound is coming from this small bushing inside the shifter assembly. But before we actually get into the procedure and the explanation behind the problem, let me show you exactly what this sounds like. So the car is in neutral right now, so in first gear, nothing. Second gear, click sound. Third gear, nothing. Fourth gear, sound. Fifth gear, nothing. Sixth gear, sound. Reverse, sound. So as you can see, clearly, it's all in these even gears. Now, if you look in this video clip right here, after investigating the center console, tearing it apart, and then really looking through all the components, we found that when you're shifting in those even gears and reverse gear, uh, you're actually now moving this little bushing in and out of the shifter assembly. All right, guys, so I have the shifter assembly taken apart, and I basically use this in order to draw a simplified diagram to further explain the problem in more detail. So a short shifter adapter basically reduces the forward and back motion of this shifter arm right here. By extending the bottom length here, it essentially makes the cable travel farther. So what you feel is a shorter shift up top. Now the problem with this is that by increasing the length on the bottom of the shifter arm, you actually are imposing a slight angle on the shifter cable. With the stock system, when you're shifting, the cable actually only experiences forward and back or axial forces on the cable. When you put an extender on the actual shifter arm, the angle increase of the stock cable allows for a slight upward force to be translated to this bushing right here. So with the addition of an upwards force now caused by that angle from the shifter adapter, it causes the bushing to slide in and out of this channel right here, hence causing that clicking sound. I do want to note that by installing the short shifter adapter, you are causing a little bit harder wear and tear on the actual shifter cable itself within the entire stock system. However, if it's designed properly, the actual wear and tear is really minimal in comparison to just normal driving conditions under the stock setup. So with the problem explained to the best of my ability, let's get to the disassembly of the center console in order to pull out the shifter assembly to fix the issue. So to take apart this shifter assembly, you're going to need the following set of tools. To start off, you're going to need a ratchet wrench and an extension. And alternatively, you can also use an electric one to speed things up. Now to take apart the four base bushings along the outside of the shifter assembly, you're going to need a 10 millimeter socket, uh, or if you have the Acuity Instruments base bushings installed, you're going to need a four millimeter hex adapter or an Allen key. Um, in addition to that, you're going to also need a Phillips head screwdriver or alternatively an eight millimeter socket. You can essentially use either to take apart the majority of the hardware in the center console as a whole. In addition to that, you're going to need a 90 degree pick tool to take apart the wiring clips that are all around the outside of the actual shifter assembly. Now normally, we don't recommend using zip ties in order to fix problems in cars, but because this problem is small and it doesn't necessarily cause any other problems aside from that sound, zip ties are sufficient for this issue. In addition to that, you're going to need a drill and a drill bit that is just large enough to thread each zip tie through each of the holes that we will be drilling in this shifter assembly. So a full center console disassembly is covered in another video that will be linked in our video description. But with the center console removed, carefully pop out each of the plastic wiring clips around the shifter assembly. Each clip has two tabs that can be pinched or pried out using pick tools. Next, a metal locking clip must be taken off to remove the gate spacing cable from the rocker arm. The shifter cable on the short throw adapter can be removed by spreading apart another metal locking clip. Now twist the plastic bushing that's secure. So sorry for the interruption guys, but basically if you're seeing this video for the first time or if you're re-watching this just to see how the procedure's done again, uh, we actually took the video down to reshoot a small segment. So now we're back on a bench with a nice shifter housing right here installed with brand new cables so I can show you guys really clearly with nice camera angles, nice lighting, how to actually release that tab with a small flathead screwdriver or a 90 degree pick tool. Okay, so I have the cables installed on the shifter housing right here. Now, I'm going to actually remove the one on the side first to show you guys how this bushing is locked in place to give you guys a better idea of how to actually take it apart and where I'm actually placing this flathead screwdriver. Okay, so with the bushing out, you can clearly see the actual little plastic nub that I'm talking about resting in the inside surface of the shifter housing. Now notice this tab that can move in and out axially with the cable. Now, as you rotate the bushing 
um, in the shifter housing like this, you'll notice that as you rotate it, the tab will glide over the nub and then click in place, just like that. Now it's locked in place like this. Okay, so hopefully that cleared up some confusion because basically the way you remove this bushing is you simply take a flathead screwdriver or a pick tool, something that fits into a channel that you'll be able to see from the top of the bushing. So you take that tool, slide it into the channel, and in order to depress that tab, you kind of pull axially on the actual cable. And by doing this, this should actually push that tab out of the way of the plastic nub, allowing you to freely rotate that bushing, like so. And now that it freely rotates, it now can slide right out of the shifter housing like so. And again, as a reference, to install it back in place, you simply rotate it on its side, slide it into the actual shifter housing, and then lock it in place. Okay everyone, so I hope that clears things up on how to effectively remove this plastic bushing from the actual shifter housing. I am glad we were able to take the video down, reshoot some scenes, and then re-upload it for you guys relatively quickly. So now, let's move forward and continue with the disassembly of the shifter housing for my car. Now twist the plastic bushing that secures the cable counterclockwise to pry it from the shifter assembly. Now unfasten the four bolts that secure the shifter assembly to the chassis, but be careful not to lose parts under the carpeting. Now pull the shifter assembly from the chassis completely. Avoid bending the shifter cables upon removal. All right, with the shifter taken out of the car, I've marked four locations which we'll be drilling into. You can see the first two right here on the front. Make sure that the holes are spaced away from these ribs on the side right here so that when you rest the box end of these zip ties, it actually remains flush and flat against the smooth surface here. Now there are two more spots on the top right here that we're going to be drilling into. These holes are going to be resting underneath where the actual bushing sits in the housing. Now another quick tip is you can actually let the drill bit sit in the corner right there to give you guys a nice alignment to drill through two layers of plastic all the way through the actual shifter housing. Be sure to grip the shifter assembly securely when drilling the four holes. Two holes on the top will pass through two layers of plastic. With the four holes, we've created this method of using zip ties in order to secure that troublesome bushing in place. Now the orientation of the zip ties is essential to fixing the issue with that sound. We found it easiest to put in the zip ties prior to reinstalling the shifter assembly into the car. Next, navigate the shifter cable back into the shifter assembly, then mount the assembly back onto the chassis to refasten the four base bushings. Now reinstall the shifter cables, but watch closely here as we cross the zip ties to secure the cable in place. Do not over tighten the zip ties until both have been threaded into one another. This allows you to have enough slack to reposition them as needed. When tightening the crossed end of the zip ties, pull on the threaded zip tie taut. This keeps the box end flush with the shifter housing locked in place. Don't forget to trim the excess. All right, so we got the center console put back together, so let's see how it sounds. All right guys, so I hope that that procedure helped you realize how easy it is to fix this small problem that's caused by any short shifter adapter on the market for the 10th gen Honda Civic. So if you like the contents of this video, please hit that like button below and subscribe to the channel and also leave a comment if you have any feedback. We'll catch you guys in the next video where we will be featuring more parts from Acuity Instruments. So again, my name is Powen Song and hope you guys have a nice day. Bye.